it's Nikki of The Wealthy Women Within. Welcome back to Tapping Into The Oracle, where each week I tune into your energy, my lightworking ladies, and I ask my angels and guides what you've been working on and how that's been challenging you. And I pull oracle cards to discover what that is and then also how you can move forward and go into this new week with that divine guidance. And we always finish out with a wonderful EFT tapping round so that you and I both can tap through and clear any resistance that we might find to following that guidance that came up. So on Friday, when I tuned in to my guides and asked what you've been working on and what's been challenging you, it really came forth as a message that resonated so much with my heart, and that is self-talk or the power of self-talk. So what you've been working on in the past week or so is really reflecting and going within and kind of looking at what is supporting you and what's not supporting you within your own world, within your own self. And this reflection is happening because you recognize there's a need for a change for how you're showing up in supporting yourself. And really that woman in the card there, that is you. And she's looking at her feelings and her self-talk with openness and honesty. And that is represented in the blue of her top. And blue is openness, honesty, and truth. So you are being asked to look at what is your truth and how you can be open to admitting really what your self-talk has been and how that is really affecting you and being asked if there is a new choice available to you and are you willing to work with that and accept that and move forth. And really the key to doing that, the key to this reflection that you've been in is your feelings. Because flowers, if you see those beautiful kind of purple magenta flowers right at her ears there, flowers always say, express your feelings. And so in this case, where they're literally sitting right at your ears, you are being asked to go into that point of reflection within yourself and listen. Listen to what your own words are and have your feelings come forth to really sit with yourself and be open to what your feelings are and accepting those, whatever they may be, because that's the first step, right? When we can be open with ourselves and not try to hide from our own feelings, because really that's impossible. We can brush them off and put them aside, but they're always there waiting for us. And this is really the time where you can sit with those feelings and allow themselves to express themselves to you so that you can be empowered to make a new choice. Because if you look at the other colors in the cards, that yellow, it's almost like a beautiful halo, right? It is surrounding you. And yellow, especially that soft yellow, is all about you. And it's asking you to look at your self-worth and the value that you're putting on yourself. And so when you combine that with the feelings are the key to how you are valuing yourself, then you can take that into your inner reflection and make a new choice of what powerful words you're gonna use when you're talking to yourself. Because that was the card, the power of self-talk. So recognizing that if you are disempowering yourself now, Spirit is guiding you and supporting you with a way forward to move into empowering self-talk. And the way forward 
is so beautiful, so gorgeous. The way forward is appreciation. And what I love about this card, if you actually look at that woman, it could almost be an incarnation, like a future incarnation of the same woman in the first card. So it's looking like it is a future incarnation of you if you move forward in this way. And what is most different to me in those cards is, see how in the first card that woman's, the blue and the woman's top, it was almost contained. So you weren't really sure about being open and honest with your communication with yourself and in the second card it's like it's exploding forth and that blue has actually even transformed into a turquoise and turquoise is so gorgeous turquoise signifies a creative expression and that so it's really saying that now the way forward is to step into a new way of communicating with yourself and the expression that will come forth when you allow your feelings to come forth from your heart and really be expressed the way they want to, it is full of movement and joy and creativity and inspiration for you when you can embrace it in that way. And in fact, the divine is supporting you so much in this so anything that you see in the card with the white, so the feathers and then the other flowers, the white is the source, the white is the divine and how it is literally supporting you into this new way of interacting with yourself, of supporting yourself. You are partnering with the divine here. So know that, know that this time of reflection and making new choices of how you're honoring yourself with your feelings and your words, know that it is not only guided, but really just so supported by the universe, by the divine here. And you can see that in the white feathers in the woman's hair and the feathers are always representative of the fact that your angels are with you and they're it's even interwoven into her hair so it's like a part of who you are now checking in with your feelings and expressing them is a part of who you are and the divine is playing a part in that with you and even your feelings are now different because remember those white are expressing your feelings and in this card in the appreciation card those feelings they look like the flower looks like a wheel to me so again it's that the wheel keeps things turning right it keeps things moving forward so that is what you are doing by really going within and being open and honest with yourself, you are taking the ultimate action. You are moving things forward in this new, empowering way that's full of inspiration and light. Because that is the other beautiful part of this card, right? The light that's in there is so gorgeous. And it's actually what I notice most about the light is that it's surrounding the dove. And actually the dove is in both cards. I'd forgotten that, but the dove is that symbol of peace. And birds are that craving of a freedom, right? If you're flying with both wings then you are flying in the direction that you choose. And in the first card where you are now is the dove was very still. And so there was that reflection needed because you weren't sure which direction you were flying in. But in the second card, in the way of moving forward, not only is that dove just illuminated and just transformed into this beautiful motion that it's coming forth, you can see the light ray is actually coming out of the dove and the dove is at her heart level, right? So you expressing your feelings right from your heart level is going to allow you to fly. And you know now which direction to go forth in. And finding that, being able to come through to this new place of expressing yourself, fills you with such peace 
and joy. It's like that whole path in front of you is illuminated. And if you look at the points of illumination in the card, it's at her heart where the dove is, it's at her throat, so like the throat chakra, the communication center, and there's really just a beautiful spot here at the third eye. So again, being able to see clearly and be illuminated by the divine guidance that is shown to you through your feelings and through your self-talk. And ultimately, you will come to a place of freedom through appreciation. Appreciation for yourself and for who you are at this moment. And so it is such a wonderful message going forward into our week. I am filled with joy and excitement for this because I know that for myself, I'd really been feeling that kind of quiet time in the last week of reflection and I knew it was valuable, but I also was aching to move forward. So I'd like to do our EFT tapping today on really honoring where we've been, honoring that time of reflection and now being able to go forward in a new way. So join me if you will in tapping straight through the points. <sighs> I've been in a place of quiet. I've been reflecting and thinking about my own needs. Thinking about how I've been showing up for myself. And honestly, how I've not. I've been looking at all the ways that I've been judging myself. All the ways that I've been hard on myself. And I really haven't been a friend. I haven't been a loving friend to myself. I'm so willing to do that for others. I'm there at a moment's notice and I open my arms and my heart to others. But for myself, it's a bit more challenging. I feel like I should be more. I feel like I should be always in this place of action and joy and light. And I'm not. And I'm learning that that might be okay. I'm learning that all of my feelings are okay. And that's a whole new place for me to come to this place of acceptance for who I am and for exactly how I feel. It feels so new but it also fills me with hope. Because if I can be honest with myself, I could do anything. I don't have to hide my true feelings. I can be okay with being me. And that means that there's a choice. If I'm okay with who I am and how I feel, I can choose to appreciate myself. I can choose loving words, kind words, words of encouragement and empowerment for myself. I can be my own best friend. And to be honest, that would be a really welcome change. So I'm all about it. 
if that simple act of tuning into my self-talk, reflecting and listening to my feelings, and choosing different words if I need to, to choosing words of love for myself, if that'll move me forward, then I'm all about it. Because I know that those words of love, those are true. Those are what my heart really wants to say. That's how the divine views me. I am my amazing self. And I am exactly where I'm supposed to be right now. Everything has led me to this moment. So I'm choosing no more judgment. I'm choosing kind words, encouraging words, and I am empowering myself to move into a new place, a place of appreciation for me, and a place of self-love and transformation. And just breathing into that and seeing how you feel, seeing if you feel like, yeah, maybe I could make this new choice. Maybe I could choose different words. And it's not gonna be 100% perfect, right? This is something that takes time. But right now in this moment, you can make that choice to do so. To when you hear words that are not so positive for yourself or feelings that are coming up, you can choose to pause and flip it into a more empowering choice and really learn this new skill of self-love and appreciation because that is the ultimate transformation. To be able to come to a point where you say, Hell yeah, I'm worth it. I'm great. So I know I can't wait to be there and I hope that you will be there with me. So until next week, I will be tapping with you again soon. This is Nikki Diaz of The Wealthy Woman Within. Please like, subscribe, and follow me on YouTube and Facebook and now Instagram. I'm newly on there. I would love to connect with you on those platforms. Until next week, bye for now. Mm -hmm.